Like and subscribe right now, or this spider is gonna crawl on your face while you're sleeping. 10 Accidents Caught on CCTV Cameras Nowadays, it seems as if CCTV cameras are around every corner. Countries like China, the United Kingdom, and the US use these cameras pretty widely. A number of people are concerned about the intentions of all the surveillance. Some human rights activists criticize AI-powered extreme surveillance, while others complain about the huge burden these CCTV cameras exert on the public budget. In the UK, the budget for CCTV cameras alone was over £2 million back in 2011. However, police claim that CCTV cameras help to prevent crime and accidents, making it worth the money. However, this does spark a debate on the validity of that statement. Many crimes occur without any serious planning, such as opportunity theft and impulsive violence, which are much more common than psychopathic, meticulous planning. But let's move away from this heated discussion for now. Before we start, please be aware that none of the videos that we are going to watch today are funny, have any bloopers or fails. Every single video shows a person in real danger and, in some cases, people being harmed. Number 10. Please slow down. Some people can feel like Lewis Hamilton, the famous British racing driver, when they get drunk. But most drunk people have the worst driving skills ever, with low reflexes, hampered vision, and a numbed common sense. As countless of tragic accidents have demonstrated, drinking leads to dumb and risky behavior. So, police officers weren't that surprised when they found out that the driver of the flying Suzuki Swift caught on video was drunk. The footage, caught by a nearby CCTV camera, shows the driver speeding through an empty road. Then, when he encountered a roundabout, he kept his course at full speed. The car hit the curb so fast that it soared into the air like a bullet. According to the press, the firefighters helped the driver get out of the car. Well, at least what remained of it. Many people would say that this guy's survival was a miracle. And maybe it's a grim joke to notice that the car landed on top of a church. Before we move on, I've got a challenge for you that will only take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. Leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And boom, 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number nine, we aren't safe anywhere. Most of the time, we end up being safe because we're careful. However, on a few occasions, we are just plain lucky. Nothing can really protect you if you're walking down a street and suddenly a plane crashes on you. Now, this particular incident might have happened if you were walking next to a particular road in Odessa, Ukraine at the wrong time. In June 2020, a light plane crashed on a road in the city of Odessa. The video footage shows a backyard with a road behind it. The road has some light traffic as a couple of cars are passing by. Then, out of nowhere, a light engine sports plane crashes onto the street close to the main road. The crash occurred a few feet away from the house where the CCTV cameras were recording. Though it seems that not a single bystander got hurt, unfortunately, the two-person crew didn't survive the accident as reported by a local news agency. Number eight, cross the road safely. Crossing a road isn't rocket science. It takes a bit of common sense, sometimes some patience, and following a few basic rules. Yet, there seems to be a lot of people out there that think they don't need to pay attention to the rules, especially if they're in a hurry. A couple of these guys were caught on CCTV footage in China. As funny as it may seem, the first one seems to be trying to take a shortcut as we would expect, the man overestimated his agility and knocked over a huge traffic barrier. The railing was dozens of meters long, so it was impossible for the guy to lift back up. Incredibly, a few hours later that same day, another man did the exact same thing, but this time without caring at all. In the second video, during the night, we can watch the guy getting out of a cab. A few seconds later, he pushes the traffic barrier without any shame at all. Number seven, life can end in a rush. Accidents can happen everywhere. Surprisingly, even some banks can be dangerous, though perhaps not in the way you'd think. In the United States, it's very common to use tempered glass for doors, but there are still many countries in the world where such safety measures haven't been taken seriously yet. In India, a Kerala bank was apparently one of these such cases. Regular glass doors can be very dangerous, as this next video is about to demonstrate. 
The customer is inside the bank likely to make a transaction and then seems as if she forgot something outside and leaves in quite a hurry. The footage shows her trying to leave the bank but instead running and ramming to the glass door by accident. In this case, it seems that things did not end so well as the glass door was shattered and the broken pieces left behind can be very dangerous. Quite tragically, this happened to be one of those cases. According to the local news agency, Mirror Now Digital, the woman was immediately rushed to a hospital, but did not survive. Number 6. Controlling Crime in Ghana In 2019, Ghana launched an aggressive program to control crime, largely through the use of CCTV cameras. The country was short on police officers for surveillance work, so it seemed a good idea at the time. This video shows a car that rams through an SUV and a bike after a driver ignores the traffic lights. Although, thankfully, it looks like there isn't anyone seriously injured, the crash is quite shocking. In a matter of seconds, a lot of onlookers start to crowd the place, without any police officers arriving to the scene. In fact, a user of the Graphic Online channel commented about it, criticizing how long the victims of the crash had to wait for help. In the end, CCTV cameras just can't substitute for a decent law enforcement agency. You can't replace a good cop by simple cameras, wouldn't you agree? However, it is a good thing to have evidence of these accidents to be able to judge and punish accordingly, isn't it? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. Don't text while driving, or maybe talk on the phone while trying to cross the street. Governments around the world have made a huge effort to keep people away from texting while driving. In the US alone, cell phone use while driving has caused more than 1.6 million crashes each year, and almost 400,000 people get injured. But using your cell phone isn't just dangerous while you're driving. Crossing the street needs your attention as well. And you should be careful, unless you want to test your luck like the woman in this video seems to be doing. In the video, we can see that she is crossing the street while talking on the phone, and at the same time, there is a car coming straight at her. This time, she just loses a shoe, but we hope there won't be a next time, and maybe she'll be a little more focused in the future. Number 4. Windy Day Extreme weather is always one of the great risks that we face. It is impossible to control, although there are some actions that we can take. In this video, we can watch as four people are trapped as the wind topples over a nearby fence, pinning them underneath. Fortunately, there were enough people around to help the victims of the accident, and it seems that nobody suffered any injuries. Number 3. Earthquake We do know that some places like Japan or California in the US are more likely to have earthquakes. However, even in those places, we can't be sure about the exact time or place when they're going to occur. So instead, all we can do is be prepared and knowledgeable about what to do if one happens. Everyone has probably been to a local grocery store. They're full of bottles and have very narrow aisles. After watching this video, it's easy to understand why it's so important to be careful if you have glass bottles around. During an earthquake, a peaceful aisle can transform into a hellish tornado. In this video, we can watch as the cashier's quick thinking and fast actions were able to save her customer from any serious injuries. In fact, it might be fair to say that the cashier actually saved her life. In less than a second, the tremor throws heavy glass bottles all over the place, almost like giant glass bullets. It is impressive to watch an everyday heroine on CCTV. Number 2. Our Best Pick Today's best pick is about a very hard to explain accident that had, unfortunately, the worst possible outcome. It occurred in Las Vegas, and we knew about it because the local authorities actually released a video to find the witness of the crime. It was tragic and shocking to find out that the victim passed away one month later due to these injuries. In the video, released by Las Vegas police, we watch the victim exchange a few words with a woman. Then, the woman waits until the elderly man is getting out of the bus before giving him a very violent shove. It's hard to imagine that anything can justify pushing an elderly person this way, and we sure hope that justice gets served. Number 1. Evil or just plain careless? Napoleon once said, Never ascribe to malice that which is adequately explained by incompetence. 
In other words, sometimes terrible things don't happen because of someone's bad intentions, but because they just didn't think things through well. <laughs> Mr. Bonaparte, please forgive us, but after watching this video, we're not quite sure which case this is. In this video, we can see two women walking along and seeming to have a regular conversation. At least, it doesn't look like they're having a strong argument. Yet, at almost the worst possible moment, one of the girls pushes the other, causing her to fall where her head barely misses the bus wheels. Thankfully, the poor girl did not suffer any injuries, but we're not too sure how much longer this friendship lasted. Was she just joking around and pushed a little too hard? Or did she see the oncoming bus?